Hello and welcome to the roundup of this week's edition of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday 22 July 2022. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly contributing editor Donna Slater writes that in order to capitalize on the green transition, Africa needs to add value to critical minerals. The global transition to lower carbon economies and societies prevents resources-rich Africa with an opportunity to boost growth and employment by playing a greater role in mining and processing the so-called green or critical minerals required for low carbon technologies. The engineering news features focus on sustainable infrastructure development system projects, where South Africa offers pragmatic solutions, but is still far from sustainability in infrastructure. Industrial and commercial lighting, where a new industrial lighting solution proves beneficial for industry. And air, gas, fumes and dust control, where a new gauge assembly protects people and the environment. The Mining Weekly features focus on hydraulics, pneumatics and hydropower with the introduction of a new hydraulic hose and fittings range. This week's business leader is Sean Drishner, MD and CEO of Mazuza Security Services. And as this week's cartoon shows, the record fuel prices in South Africa are squeezing businesses and citizens alike. The fuel levy relief granted to date has been welcome, but has been insufficient to ease the pain. And with the rand weakening to worrying levels, that pain looks set to continue for some time. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news and developments in the real economy. Happy reading and see you next time.